Hi Gemini, this is going to be a general love reading for June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs. And because it is general, it's not going to resonate for all of you. And that is okay. If you want, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me. And all that information is in the description box. And also, the roles can be reversed for general readings. So let's see, what is going on with Gemini in June? <clears throat> All right, so we have compromise and we have the answer is yes. Okay, so somebody in this situation is very willing actually to compromise or to make a compromise in order to make this work. So let's get into the tarot and see what all of this is about. Right, so Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So it may have felt like like there was either something that you were disagreeing on or that somebody was just not willing to give up something um, that would be necessary to be given up for this connection. And it feels like that is actually changing at the moment. All right, so for the situation, we have temperance crossed by the four of cups, sorry, the five of cups. Okay, so there still seems to be um, a little bit of holding on to something from the past that is creating some kind of grief, it's creating some kind of sadness, possibly seeing the situation from a bit of a pessimistic point of view. Whoever this is, I feel like they're definitely trying to find this balance. So this could be you, could be a, the other person, just take it as it resonates. Um, but there's this sense of trying to heal something and I feel like whatever that is, it is related to the past, but it's, it's like it's a little bit difficult to let it go, whatever that is, or to overcome it. So for the recent past, we have the Eight of Cups, and for the near future, we have the Empress. So yeah, it feels like somebody walked away here. Now, this may have been you. Um, for example, if the other person was not willing to compromise, or if somebody was holding on to something from the past, not willing to, to recover from it, or not willing to let it go, in order to make this work or to find some kind of balance in in the connection but it definitely feels like somebody walked away from this or turned their back to it at least and it does look like things are shifting a little bit coming up in the near future especially with the empress here so we'll see more when we clarify but for your energy we have the seven of cups for them we have the eight of pentacles for you the page of cups for them the queen of swords and the potential outcome here is the Queen of Swords and an extra message for you is the Queen of Wands. Okay, so, Gemini. It feels like there's a little bit of confusion on your end when it comes to this connection or something about this connection. Maybe it is that you, that you have various options or you're just trying to really figure out which way you should do or which alternative you should take for something here. And at the same time, I do also see you um, having a lot of emotions, being very open emotionally, like knowing what you're, what you feel, knowing what you, what you would want to say also when it comes to how you feel to this other person. Now for them, I feel like they're working on something. They're working on something in a very focused way, but at the same time, they may appear to be a little bit detached. Having the Queen of Pentacles, though, for the potential outcome, and then also another Queen here for, for a message for you, I feel like somehow you're both working on, on um, yourselves, both really just trying to take care of yourselves. And this is something that apparently needs to be done in order for there to be this compromise or in order for things to be able to work out. So let's actually clarify and get a little more detail here. So 
So let's clarify the temperance with the Five of Cups. It's funny how I said Four of Cups before and we actually got the Four of Cups out here <laughs> uh, for the clarifier. So we have the Four of Cups, we have the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Cups. What is going on here? Gemini, what is going on? All right, so if this is you, I'm just going to assume that it's you, although it could be your person. Um, you're really trying to heal. You're really trying to find some sort of balance, especially I feel when it comes to really um, sorting things out. Like I feel like it has to do with sorting out this confusion. And a lot of it has, again, is related to something from the past, holding on to something from the past which whatever that is that you are holding on to from the past, it's something that does not bring you any happiness. It's something that you, um, it's just very, it feels pointless. It feels pointless and it feels like it's already done, whatever this is. And at the same time though, it causes you a lot of pain, but I feel like this is what needs to be processed and let go of in order for you to have some kind of a reconciliation with somebody or in order for you to actually find some happiness, find a little bit of enjoyment in your life. It's, I mean, that balance is there. You have this within you. It's just a matter of really being able to see the glass half full rather than half empty. I feel like it's a little bit of a pessimistic mindset that might be holding you back from actually being able to feel balanced and fulfilled. Again, roles, roles can definitely be reversed and I mean, I just, I'm saying that this is you because I feel like it's you, but it could definitely be, be the other person. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups in your energy. All right, the Ten of Cups, the Magician. And the Two of Cups. Yeah, there's... Wow. All right, so there's a connection here that you are feeling a lot of love for, all right? So this could definitely be the other person, for example, what I was just describing. Or it could be that you're dealing with two different situations, maybe. Whatever the case, though, you... You're keeping yourself in a state of confusion when it's actually that you know exactly what it is that will bring you happiness. You know exactly where your Two of Cups is and the Ten of Cups. I mean, there is there is a connection here that you feel so strongly about that it's very intense. You know it can bring you happiness. But it's kind of like, yeah, and it's in your, it's in your hands to have this is what I'm getting. With a magician, this is something that you can manifest. But it's like you're, you're thinking too much about it. You're thinking about all the different scenarios. And it could be that you're having some illusions. Possibly even about pain. Let's see the Page of Cups. Tower, the Nine of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. It's like you're making this more difficult than what it actually is. Um, you're feeling like this is just so challenging, opening up your emotions, actually feeling what you're feeling to you um, comes across as being a disaster, almost like you feel the fact that you're having these feelings that you have, you feel like that creates a tower moment. You feel like that is like, it's, just, it's creating a disaster in your life. And I actually feel like, you know, it's, it's really a matter of releasing something from the past or releasing this negative, pessimistic um, attitude that you might have towards I don't know, towards what? <laughs> towards something. That's what's holding you back from finding this happiness. Let's see what's going on with them. So 
clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Cups, Strength, and the Two of Wands. I feel like this person is waiting. They're trying to, I, I almost feel like they're trying to focus on something else as they wait to see what is going to happen here. Um, they're trying to, to just kind of like hold on and just, they're trying to be strong throughout this, this ordeal, whatever it is that is going on here. Almost waiting to see if you're going to come in, if you're going to be able to um, figure, figure this out because I feel like there's something here that you're really trying to figure out. But it's like you, it, it might even be a disappointment from the past that is holding you back. And so this person might feel like they're detached and it's because they're trying to focus on other things because what I get from this is that they really don't know how else to deal with it and they're just trying to be strong. Trying to be strong and but at the back of their minds here they're they're still waiting they're still waiting for this let me clarify the king of swords all right we have death the ace of cups the three of wands and the seven of wands okay so yeah, this person is definitely feeling detached. I wouldn't be surprised if it's this person who has turned their back or is walking away or is just kind of um, withdrawing their energy a little bit from this connection, even though there is still a lot of love here. It's almost as if they're trying to put an ending or they feel like there has been an ending. Possibly they might feel like, you know, this is just never going to move forward. And because of that, they have this sense of um, trying to protect themselves, trying to just being a little bit defensive, being a little bit on guard because they have both the nine of wands as well as the seven of wands. So that's a lot of guardedness. However, at the same time, they, they're still waiting. As I said before, they have the two of wands as well as the three of wands. These are both like waiting energies. So it's almost as if this person is trying to convince themselves that, yeah, you know what, this is done. It's okay, you know, I'm fine. And so they appear detached, but deep down they feel a lot of love for you with this Ace of Cups here. And again, it's like they're secretly waiting to see what you're going to do. Let me clarify the Empress for the near future. They keep getting so many cards. All right, oh, the Emperor. The Ace of Swords, the Queen of Wands, as well as the Moon. Okay, yeah, so I'm definitely getting that this is a very strong connection. I feel like this situation has been very complicated in the past. Um, and this is just kind of describing what the situation might feel like right now. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are dealing with a fire sign. Or possibly even another air sign just what I'm getting at. but I feel like there's a lot of we have a lot of fire in this reading um, definitely let me know if that's the case so what I see for the for the near future here it's like you you will feel this relationship this connection being intensified being a little bit stronger I feel like each of you is kind of working on your own on your own thing individually you're trying to find your power here, trying to find a way to heal, find a way to find your balance, to resolve this confusion. Whereas the other person is trying to just be strong and almost like as if they're releasing um, layers of their ego in some way. A lot of this is happening in a way where the both of you are unaware of what 
what the other person's lesson is here. You're unaware of the work that is happening behind the scenes because it's happening on a subconscious level. And I feel like this is actually what is coming up, that there's going to be um, progress when it comes to each of you really finding some truth within yourselves. But it's, it's hard to see it in the other person, what, you know, what that progress is. One sec, because I just had a whole bunch of cards flip over here. All right. So let's move on to the potential outcome, which is that Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like it's the same theme, just kind of playing out there. So let's see, for the Queen of Pentacles, we have the world, the devil, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so again, it's like a completion of cycles when it comes to what is it that is toxic? What is it that is holding me back? What is it that is keeping me stuck? Where is it that I need to compromise? I actually feel like that's what the compromise is for a lot of you. Um, for some of you, it could definitely be, you know, releasing whatever it is that needs to be released from the past, releasing some fears, um, just compromising something in order to find that balance, to find that healing. For others of you, yeah, that compromise could be something very, very specific. But as an overall, like, overview, I feel like this compromise is the fact that both of you are doing your own work individually here, releasing or putting an end to whatever it is that is unhealthy, whatever it is that is shadow from within. And that is actually leading to stability. That is leading to that Queen of Pentacles, which is a very stable energy and very grounded, as well as this Ten of Pentacles, which is also very grounded and it's long term. So I do see that actually coming up here as the potential outcome. So for the Queen of Wands, yeah, you know, again, I, you might be dealing with a, with the fire sign. Um, but I'm seeing this as the message for you as being, you know, being confident, standing in your power not not allowing yourself to be taken to be taken advantage of but also at the same time figuring your shit out and going after what you want in a confident and assertive way and not settling for anything less This was an interesting reading, actually, Gemini. Feels a little complicated, but... All right, so if this resonated, let's get your final message, Gemini. And we have the third quarter moon. Adjustments are required. So yeah, and I feel like you're actually making these adjust... Uh, oh my gosh, adjustments. All right, um, I feel like that's what the compromise is. I feel like it's actually on both sides for most of you, but of course, for some of you, it might be mostly on one person's side rather than both. So just take that as it resonates. All right, Gemini, thank you so much for watching and much love.